She is going to help you hone the edges on your presentation process. She's going to help you craft the greatest way to say what it is that you want to say. Words not to use, words and phrases that you do want to use, and why. Take a lot of good notes. You're going to learn a lot. From the incredible Miss Patricia Fripp. When we speak in a sales process, especially if you have a long sales process, we have to speak to be remembered and repeated. We want to speak to the audience of our audience. If you sound the same as everybody else, you have no advantage. Remove every word that you do not need and the words that are left are more memorable. Say them in an interesting, unique way. And pause so that they can be digested so that the person we talk to can talk to another audience we have not met as of this moment. And when you master the ability to tell your happy, satisfied client stories well, it is as if you are taking your happy, satisfied clients with you on your sales call. And specificity. Specificity builds credibility. And everything else being equal, the best presentation wins. I have a good friend from the Fairmont Hotel in San Francisco. And one morning he called and said, Patricia, help. As you know, I'm a great salesperson one-on-one. -on -one. However, I have the opportunity to speak to a convention committee. And I get really nervous when I stand up and have to talk to a group. So I asked him the questions we should all ask ourselves before any presentation. Who are you addressing? Convention committee. Two, what are you really selling? He said, well, I'm really not selling the Fairmont because they would stay here if they come to San Francisco. But I, I happen to know that they're equally considering San Diego. And the idea is you can't ever knock your competition. What you do is make your offering sound more appealing. How long do you have to speak? Eight minutes. What is it worth to the Fairmont Hotel if you get the business? He said $500,000. I said, let me get this right. You have eight minutes to make $500,000. Why don't you say this? Welcome to the Fairmont. Thank you for the opportunity to show you the benefits of San Francisco. And in the next eight minutes, you will decide the best decision you can make for your association and your members is to bring your convention to San Francisco and the Fairmont Hotel. So including the welcome, that is six you or yours to Fairmont. That is a you focused, focusing on their point of view, just by reading what you would say to build rapport. San Diego is a magnificent destination. And you should go there another year. <laughs> However, the reasons you should come to San Francisco this year are, now give logical, specific reasons. The key to connection is conversation. The secret of conversation is to ask questions. And the quality of the information you receive depends on the quality of your questions. Patricia, that was golden. I've got a pages full of notes back there. It is very difficult to be creative in isolation. And why it's important with a team is because without consistency, there is no quality. You don't thank people for the time. What do you say? Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you to the opportunity to discuss how now, you're going to fill in the blanks. What is your solution can help them become or solve their problem? Many of my clients believe that once they got their presentation together and the PowerPoint, they're done. Now, I always tell them, you're halfway done. Now, you've got to get it in your body. 
At the end of lunch on day two, the national sales manager got up and said, the sales team were talking at lunch and we decided we have absolutely no idea how we've sold anything before we heard Patricia. The stories that you tell in your sales conversations and presentations need to be true. They do not need to be 100% accurate. By putting it in their dialogue, you can say about you and your company what you would feel as if you were being too salesy or showing off too much. If John Smith, the senior vice president of the ABC company was here, he would tell you. We would not have believed it possible that this project came in under budget and three weeks ahead of schedule. I challenge you to revisit what you say and to take presentations and sales conversations to the level of preciseness that you need. We need to build these habits in everyday life. You will not improve what you're not aware of. Model that you are the best in your industry just by the way you communicate. May I add some commentary, Nancy? She was transitioning into speaking, and I'd just been in it for a few years. And I've heard her speak probably a hundred times through all these years. She's never been better than today. I just want to say about your growth, even since I heard you speak a year ago, is extraordinary. What you talked about today is so important to us in sales, and I thought it was masterful. Thank you. We definitely want that on video. Yeah,